Yeah, you know, Argy Crew. Hope you're having a fantastic day today and your family's happy and healthy. Okay, first off, I excuse for my I, I, please excuse my voice if it crackles or breaks up a bit because I'm still getting over this flu. Um, <clears throat> so I may occasionally have to cough or uh, clear my throat. If I do, again, I apologise. I'm trying to uh, keep it t- to a minimum. <laughs> All right. Now, this video, we're going to have a look at how you can change the signage uh, on billboards, trucks, trailers, etc. in mods that you may uh, be using so that uh, it reflects your personal logos, etc. Uh, uh, this video was suggested by Alex. Shout out to you, Alex. Uh, finally getting around to doing it for you, mate. Sorry it took so long, but uh, unfortunately, sometimes life does that to you um okay so yeah what we'll be doing is we'll be using the tulsa logistics park uh mod from uh frankenstyle custom uh, as a demo to show you how to do it but this will work basically on any uh, uh mod that you download that provides templates to do this all right so as you can see here this is the logistics park and you can see here it's got the uh default uh, signage and on the trucks they're all got the default Tulsa and logistics park signage and as you can see here the same trucks and trailers have the uh, Tulsa signs etc uh, etc et and what we're going to do is we're going to change it from that to this and as you can see when we turn back around my signage is on all the billboards argy bargy transport Okay, and as you can see over here on these billboards, Argy Bargy Transport, on the trucks and trailers, same thing, all my personal logos. So we'll be changing from the Tulsa ones to your own personal logos. As you can see on the billboard here on the uh, garage, inside the garage as well, got a trailer with uh, my personal logo on it. Got a couple of signs up on the wall, etc., etc. So, yeah, what we'll be doing is seeing how we can do that so that you can personalise your signage to reflect your own company. All right? So what we'll do now is we'll get out of here because we don't need to be in here anymore, and I'll show you the two programs that you're going to need to do this. All right? So the first... Uh, program you'll need is a program called well you'll need a paint program that is dot uh, dds uh, compatible meaning that it will uh, you'll be able to manipulate and edit dot dds files the one i use is gimp uh, the reason i use that is because i'm used to it it's free and it works great okay so I'll leave a link to that down in the description, but if you've got another paint program that you're used to and it handles .dds uh, file format, then you can use that one. Not a problem. The other one you'll need is a zip program. I use 7-zip. And the reason, again, I use that is because it's free and I'm used to it. But again, I'll leave uh, a link in the description below. So if you want to download that, you can. Or if you've already got a zip program that you currently use, that will probably do fine. But I'm just offering you these as the ones that I use. So if you want to follow along using the programs I do, uh, <clears throat> you can do so with the links provided in the description. All right, so now we know which programs we need. Let's bring that down. We will now open up a GIMP. Okay, so this is GIMP. And I've pre-opened the files that you'll need. But let's take a look over here. Now, when you download your mod that has the template in it, you'll need to open it up in that zip program like I explained. So open up the uh, mod that you want to uh, put your own logos in. Find the templates that you need to use. And in this uh, mod, the mark template. And you want the DDS files for the templates. Okay. And then all you want to do is open those in your 
paint program. So now what we'll do is we'll open, let's open that one. When you open it, you want to load the maps and you want to automatically decode your image. Say yes, and it will open up. Okay, so now this is a template, and what this template's for is for inside the garage in the Tulsa uh, depot. And as you can see, if you look up the top here, it says table AU inside. So that's for inside the garage. All right. And then what you want to do, let's open this one. This is one I've already done. And, but what I'll do is I'll show you how, as you can see, it's the same template, but with my logos on it. Now, all you've got to do, whoops, is take a logo that you've already done. Let's take this one. So, do this. Bear with me. I'm just going to copy this so I can show it to you, and then we'll show you how to do it if you were. Okay, so there's a new image. Okay, so this it's a bit out of line. So just ignore that. This is just for demo purposes. I'm not going to try to be precise and fill the lines or whatever. But I'll, I'll show you exactly how to do it. So let's say this is your logo that you've already got designed. Let's get rid of that so we don't confuse the matter. Okay, so this is a logo you've already designed and you want to put it onto the template. It's quite easy. All you need to do is drag and drop it on there. So let's say we grab it from there, go over here, and we drop it on. And then we just position it on the squares that you want it on. Now let's position it a bit better. Isn't it? It's just Murphy's Law. Whenever you're showing someone something, it doesn't want to work properly. That wouldn't line up properly for me. But anyway, so then you would drag and drop it onto the square. Now, the, again, like I say, these squares are for signs inside the garage. So when, once you've got all them done to the, the way you want, we're just doing this. Again, I'm not being precise. Uh, you would use a different one for this top one here because it's a an actual different sign. But for testing purposes or for Showing you demo purposes. Oh. All right. Okay. So you drop them in. Okay. Then you would then save the file. Um, or, sorry, export as a .dds. And I'm just going to name it two because I've already got this saved. But again, Save it in a place that you'll remember. All right. I'm going to just drop it into uh, the G drive on my computer. And I'm saving it as uh, table inside to .dds. So then we would export. And when we export it, you want the compression to be BC3DXT5. All right, you want to all visible layers and generate MIP maps. All right, this, this is what, the, what you need in GIMP to save it in the proper format. So DC3 DX T5 as a compression, all visible layers, then generate MIP maps. Okay, and then you would export it and done. Okay, so once you now have those uh, files, you do that with all your uh, templates. I'll just open another one. This one's a trailer. This is for a, the 48-foot trailer. You would just put your images over the top of this. A lot of it's trial and error. So once you do put the images on it, uh, you would then 
save it, place it in the correct file, go into the game, check it and see if they line up and make sure everything's okay. If not, then you w- would readjust and uh, resave, drop it back into the correct position, go back in the game, check it. Unfortunately, that's the way it works. You have to do a lot of trial and error to make sure that you have everything in the correct posi- position. For example, if I open this one, this is actually, I know it looks weird because it's all black, but this is actually the truck um, images that you would put on your trucks. And the, the way it's done is that um, with the template, the template's got visible marks, and I didn't color it black until I had all these other things in position. It's hard to explain, but you get the idea. Again, I'm not going to go through all that because I'm just doing this to show you how you would do it and how you would save them, where you would save them. Okay? So now that you have done all your templates to the way you want them, so you've got your logos on them, you've saved them into a a file that you know where they are, we can then get out of uh, the Paint program. And now what we want to do is we want to go into uh, the program, uh, sorry, the mod. Uh, Where is it? It's in here. So now we want to go into the mod. So what I've got here is, is it in here? Yeah. Okay, so if you look, this is the folder that I have all my... uh, Images saved in for the Tulsa depot. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So, as you can see, that's uh, an image for uh, some billboards. This is for a flag. Uh, again, another billboard. This is for the trailers. This is for another trailer, etc., uh, etc. Et so, all the templates that I created with my own logo i saved into this folder and i called it finals so that i knew where it would be all right so then what you would do is you go to the actual zip folder you would open that up you would then open this folder here that is tulsa logistics park by frank and style frank and custom templates and it will tell you that that's where you need to place them so in here that where it's template, this is where you drop those templates. So all you'd need to do, let's put that down here, is open this, open that, go back to 7-zip. All you do now is either one by one or all together, you would drag them into this uh, template folder in the zip folder, drop it in there, It'll say, are you sure you want to drop that in there? You just say, yes. It will now replace that with your logos, the ones that you've done. So you would do that with them all, drop them in there, and then once you've done that, you would then go back here. and. This one here, you would then zip or unzip into your mod folder so that it is now accessible in the game. Okay, so you've copied all these into this templates one. Okay, not this one here, but into the .scs template folder. You've copied all these into here. You would then unzip this into your mod folder, all right? Once you've done that, once you've unzipped this into your mod folder in the game, you then go into the game, we go into the mod folder, we type in Tulsa, so we look for the Tulsa ones, and as you can see here, it's got the Tulsa templates. You would then just make sure that that is activated and put into your mod along with the actual mod itself so your mod and your templates mod you would place them over here as you can see i've got the templates mod and the actual 
logistics park mod itself here in the mod active mods all right so you've copied all the templates into this template s.scs folder right so you've copied them into here and then you've unzipped it into the mods then you've come into the game once you're in the game you make sure you activate the actual mod itself and then you activate the templates itself and you drop that in to here and then when you go back into the game you will find that you now have all your signs um, in your own logos in your own company name okay so as you can see from here Oops, let's get out. All the signs are in my company name. Sign. As you can see. And that's simply by doing what I've shown you. Now, I have to admit to you, because I'm floating a little bit inside my head at the moment, because uh, of having the flu and taking a few uh, drugs to try and get over it, I may not have explain that totally coherently to you if i haven't i apologize i'm trying my best to get these videos out so you guys can uh see how to do this for yourselves um if you've got any questions please ask them down in the comments below or go over to the discord channel and ask them there and that way i can spend a little bit more time with you and explain it a bit better if i've confused you and again i apologize if i've done that like I say, I'm getting out of the flu. My head's a little bit uh, in the clouds. So hopefully I, I've explained it well enough that you can see uh, what programs you need to do it, uh, roughly how to do it. Again, like I say, I'm not going to show you how to make your own logos. That's totally up to you. You make your, your own logos and then you'll have to put them into those templates. But again, hopefully I've explained it well enough. If not, just ask me down in the comments and I'll help you out the best I can or on the Discord channel, and definitely help you there for sure. Uh, and hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do that as well. It's free, you might as well. Helps me out a bit and uh, with YouTube. Also, if you've got a friend that might uh, benefit from this, please share it with them, let them know about it. And uh, again, if you did like it, hopefully we'll uh, catch you in the next one. Bye for now.